the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It, it's good to be back. Um, we're going to do another show on this Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson uh, fiasco, because it's becoming a fiasco now because they're not going to fight now or any time in the foreseeable future because they're not going to be in the same weight class. Um, I, I want to get into this, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day. Uh, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right. I want to get into uh, today's show. Um, Shakur Stevenson has petitioned the WBO to fight. Um, will it be the number one mandatory challenger? Uh, and... Um, which would mean that he would be mandated to fight Devin Haney. He's already got that mandate mandated by WBC. So there's a couple of options of what he may be doing uh, because he's not going to fight him next. That is not going to happen. And I'll, I'll explain why. Well, it, it's easy why. I did that on the, on the last episode, right? If you go back and watch, watch my last episode, it's because he's going to move to um, – Uh, he's gonna Devin Haney's gonna move to 140, right? I mean that that's why they're not gonna fight. Um, De- Devin Haney has all the belts. Um, one and two in both the WBO and the WBC is Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson. That's one and two. In, in the WBO, it's uh, Shakur is number one. And Lomachenko's number two in the WBC. It's Stevenson is number two, and Loma, Loma's number one. Uh, you also have number three is Isak Cruz at, in the BC, and in the BO, it's Brinchak. Um, so what we're going to get is, you know, on top of all of this, Shakur Stevenson already said he's not fighting Devin Haney for the 25%, which is, which is in the WBC bylaws for the challenger, for the number one contender. It's the same 25% from the WBO. So it makes no sense. It would be for the same dollar amount, which he already said no to. So he's playing his options here. If he goes the WBO route and Lomachenko doesn't want the fight, he would fight, I would imagine, Isak. Uh, in the WBO, if, if Lomachenko doesn't want the fight, he would fight Brinchek which is a fairly easy fight, I think. We don't know much about Brinchek. He hasn't really been tested. If you went the WBC route and Lomachenko didn't want it, he'd fight Isak Cruz. If he didn't want it, he'd fight William Zepeda. If he didn't want it, he'd fight Frank Martin. That's a lot more difficult, right? So petitioning the WBO is not going to get you a Devin Haney fight. It's not going to get you more money. It really makes no sense to do this unless you want to go that route to get that belt because you don't think Vasil Lomachenko is going to take the fight and you get a much easier path. It's a path of less resistance, which is why I think he's doing it. I don't see – it makes no other sense to petition the WBO. You're already mandated to fight Devin Haney for the WBC, right? Um, what the WBO would do is they could mandate you to, to fight Haney, which is not going to happen, and then they would have you fight the number one contender, which is Lomachenko. Or they would do an eliminator, which would mean you would fight Lomachenko. So it, it makes no sense, right? You're not, the Haney fight you don't want for 25%, but Haney's leaving the division anyway, which we'll find out officially on Friday. So none of what Shakur Stevenson does make any sense on paper unless there's something else behind it. And I think that's somewhere else behind it is I he, I don't think Lomachenko is going to take that fight. Right? I think Lomachenko is going to look to do something else. Um, if he does, that leaves you, you, you two options, Isak Cruz or Brinchek. Who would you rather fight, right? I mean, so, so that's why I think he's doing it, right? The BO is an easy belt. The BO is in, in top rank, rank's pocket. Uh, it's just a, a better option for him because all these belts are going to become open. Um, 
which is interesting. As 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 loaded as uh, thirty five is, well, we'll get, I'm not going to get into that. You 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 could be like a Branchek Firo fight for the, for the for the vacant belt when Devin Haney vacates those belts, which he will do in short order. Um, it's it's, it's, it's boxing. That's what you get for a vacant belt at one thirty five in the most loaded division. It's, it is what it is. Um, so I, I think we're going to get of course I, I, we'll, we'll, let's see what the, the WO will, will probably play ball because he is a top ranked guy in the WO and top rank are in bed with each other so I, I would imagine that will happen but we'll find out later in the week and we'll find out what happens with um Devin Haney, whether he decides to fight Shakur or he f- decides to fight Regis Progre at 140, which I, all sides are pointing towards the latter. He's going to fight Regis at 140, and that's going to happen in October or November. And we go to that fight, too. Um, but that's where we're at right now. Um, that's that's where we're at right now. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, uh, petitioning the WBO. Don't think that's going to go anywhere. We'll find out. I mean, I, I do. I think he'll get it, but I don't think it's going to get him close to a Devin Haney fight, right? A, because he's not going to fight Devin Haney for the 25%. It's the same 25 The bylaws are the same. They both, the, the, the number one challenge here would get 25%. So the, the bylaws are the same for the EO and WBC in this particular situation. So he's not going to get any more money to fight him. And also, on top of that, he's not fighting him because he's going 140 to fight Regis. So it's all for a knot unless there's some – and, again, the WBO, WBC both have the same one, two, and opposite order. It's Lomachenko and Shakur Stevenson. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, you guys, this is, sounds suspicious to you just like it does me. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is July 19th now, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside.